burst blood vessels in her eyes from getting jackhammered so hard by her blind brother. He says he didn't know it was her, but I just don't trust him. I like that story. Welcome to episode number 10 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. It's week eight of isolation. Is it really? I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's been about eight weeks. Matt's, wow. just, Matt's just Googling it now. He says 10 weeks. I'm not sure there. Matt, you've changed seats. I like how you're now more direct. Matt's testicles were out earlier. There. Yeah, you've got holes in your undies. That was cute. A little he bent over and his boys. testicles popped out like a yeah. little groundhog poking its head out of the out of a hole in the ground. Do you shave your balls? Ba-boop. No, I'm too scared. Dude, it doesn't hurt that much. Like, you know how the razor on the face... That you I'm just worry that if you get through the skin, then your testicles will just fall straight you, out. Yeah, you get cuts if you're not careful, but it is possible. So... Tip for the kids when they get older. Um, Michael uh, earlier was talking about how he still eats his snot out of his nose and he thinks that he'll never, ever stop doing that. <laughs> you go to, a, go to some fine dining at an expensive restaurant and Michael won't even attempt to eat the food because it looks gross, but he's fine to eat scabs and fucking huge... Not scabs. And huge bloody fucking mountains out of his fucking nose after a weekend on the bloody nose beers. Oh, can't. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, you're making me makes sick. Makes no sense. It makes no sense. But, caviar, would you eat it? Yeah, of course. It's, it's sick. Delicious. It's fish eggs. It's salty little delicious. Yeah, well, fucking... Why don't you have a bloody snot... Snot jet cunt. <laughs> and a glass of piss. Mm, yeah, well, that's stunt time later. Everyone be prepare, prepare. Um, we're, there's nothing to really talk about. We're stuck inside all weekends. All we do is film with each other. We can't really plan very good pranks. Mm. We've, uh, we've been cringing a little bit at the last two weeks of video that we've put out. They're... Um, they're, 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 they're just fucking, they're, they're getting old. It's but it leads It leads to the point of how much better our website shit is than what we have to fucking give to social media. This podcast is proudly sponsored by the University of Markle website, universityofmarkle.com. Go and register. Um, we're giving away two weeks free, by the way. Um, Would it there be one week? No. Oh, wait. no. How, how long do we- It goes from whenever anyone signs up, you get two weeks. Oh, wow. From when they sign up. But I don't know how they get that link. All right, forget I said that. Just go and uh, register for the website because there's like nearly 10 hours worth of unseen content that we can't post anywhere. And now we're filming website exclusive videos. All right. We're filming videos that you can't see anywhere other than the website. There'll be a torture one out by this time. Yeah. We've come up with a great idea. We're going to test all- Torture methods. Yeah. And that's that includes uh, stretching. That includes uh, waterboarding. It also includes, hopefully I can get, because one of my toenails is gone that was weak in the other, but hopefully I can rip a toenail off again. And prickles and, and rolling and prickles. Yeah, we've got Bindi's galore now. <laughs> it's that time of the year and fuck me, do they hurt. It's like a cactus <clears throat> or worse. This brings us to our uh, one of our um, favorite parts of the shit talk. Uh, Matt came in at about, what time did I hear you come in? must have been about- um, Midnight. Yeah, midnight, and he started researching. He had this uh, determination on his face, and he just desperately, Ooh. desperately- You hurt me then. Wanted to get um, four facts that no one's ever heard of before. I haven't read them yet. He just sent them to me, and he was all sweaty and all fucked. He just, just met the deadline. Right before he started filming, he finally managed to confirm that these are facts. 18 hours later. Research facts, all right? He's a researcher from Wholesome. Wholesome's taught him everything he knows. Taught him how to walk and talk, how to negotiate, how to get this information. So really, this is Wholesome's fault. Matt Brown. And that's concrete. Office in Milton. On this day, in 1955, Paris Hilton started her life as a single sperm and developed into a fetus while still in her father's ball sack. Her father eventually gave birth to her out of his dick hole, which explains why she knew her way around dicks so well for her entire life. Fuck, that makes sense. Wow. Matt, that's wondered. a clap. Well done on that one. That was possible. God, that would hurt. Imagine having a fetus in your ball sack. Have you seen those videos going around where dudes get fucked in their dicks with dicks? No. It's fucked. 
it's like and self mutilation. They cut their dicks in half yeah, I've seen and they jerk of off. And they come from it somehow. <laughs> How do you concentrate on blowing when your dick's in half? Oh, I can't even think They like of it. use the base and jerk the base off that hasn't been cut. And then somehow white shit comes out of this bloody mess. <sighs> on this day in 1999, Oprah Winfrey was given a warning by police for selling large pingers and her own breast milk to her audience members. She bribed <clears throat> everyone involved to keep their mouths shut. But Matt Brown from Wholesome don't take no fucking bribes, bitch. Wow, so Oprah's not all fucking squeaky clean. Holy shit. Used to be a pinger dealer. Who would have thought? Oprah Winfrey. That's a fact. That's a cold, hard fact. On this day in 1974, Michael Jackson was sexually assaulted by that kid from Home Alone. The kid overpowered the singer and beat him senseless before leaving him in a pool of his own ejaculate and blood. This incident is said to have sparked Michael Jackson's hatred for children. Wow, that makes sense. All revenge. All those times he fucked all those kids was all just revenge. Trauma creates more trauma. Fuck. All this time I've hated him, but... I, I don't... He's a victim. On this day in 1985, Mel Gibson was kidnapped by a Mexican drug cartel. They took samples of his foreskin and used it to invent meth. So meth was derived from Mel Gibson foreskin. Oh. <laughs> My mum's met him too. <clears throat> good. Good, Matt. Not yeah. bad. Everyone is uh, now smarter. Thank you, Matt Brown. From Wholesome. The next segment has been renamed to... And of course, this is a segment where we just answer questions that you guys have sent in via Insta... Graham. Graham. So, first question is from our dear friend... Michael Fallon, which if you want to go to his Instagram is Michael underscore Fallon underscore. And he is asked, would Marty rather eat one of Michael's sexy toenails or get slapped? Daryl slap. Mm. Um, Funnily enough. I'd probably just swallow it whole. Yeah. Like a tablet or, or split it into four smaller pieces. And then, yeah, just with a big glass of water, I'd, I'd probably have to file the edges down so I don't slice my throat yeah. open on the barbed wire edges that are his toenails. And yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd eat the toenail. Because you know, if you go back to our pretty much our first vids from Marty and Michael on Facebook, we started with dare or slap. So you always take the dare over getting slapped. Always. Kids. All right. Monique underscore Morris dot 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 dot. Shit sandwich straight from the cow ass or shit sandwich from Judge Judy. Cow ass. Yeah. Judge Judy. Human shit is so it's not good. concentrated. Yeah. It's- and she doesn't look like she has a good diet. She probably just eats like lizard eggs. Oh, yeah. And microwaved lizard eggs and like just really old milk. Courtrooms and cases. Yeah. It seems like she's just that cold hearted that she doesn't really Robes. have taste buds. She Robes. just sort of consumes like, things judge hammers that are lying around her and dying yeah it's 420 right now ha <laughs> <laughs> all right next question is from yeah i'd probably go the cow too because it's uh, yeah animal shit which i have consumed before Lockie underscore hardy underscore marty would you rather fuck a cow with no udder or fuck michael with a big udder in his stomach fucking a cow with no udder would be like fucking a girl with no tits i'd still fuck the cow with no udder it'd sort of be like kinky in a way. It's like it's like it's dressed up like a bull for me. Yeah, okay. Hmm. There you go. Might have to rip one off and have a go. <laughs> How many udders do cows have? Six? Nine. Bullshit. They have one udder. No, they don't. With six teats on it. Oh, so an udder's that fucking tumor thing. Yeah. That's the whole thing. That's, That's an, an udder. Udder or four teats. I don't know. Yeah. It varies depending on how hard you fuck them. <laughs> Paul Venla Why did Michael rip his toenail off? Why do I do a lot of things? I'd say for For a bit of a laugh Yeah, just to make some people- Just a bit of a laugh on the weekend with the boys A bit of a giggle We had a bit of We had a big one a few weeks ago We already told you And someone asked if what we did was real um, And Michael said Yes, and then ripped a toenail off. Had to prove it. I have a question about your toenails. Um, 
Do you ever get ingrown toenails because you rip them so much? When I was a little tennis star as a kid, yes, I did because I had, yeah, I guess the shoes and running around the hard court fucked <laughs> it up. But I haven't as an adult. And I have heard if you rip a toenail off multiple times, eventually it will not grow back. But that's bullshit. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see about we'll that. We'll see about that one. Doctors. God. <laughs> God says you can't do that. We'll fucking see. All right, next one. Courtney, double Y8. Best accents from both of you. Marcia, I'm a train. German. Yes. Really? No. Oh, it sounded like your mom. It was just weird noises. Um, all right. Um, you fucking right, mate. You fucking having a laugh? Yeah, England. Ha-ha. Or Wales. All right. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> English. That's Scottish. That's Scott. I'm just joking. I'm just fucking joking. Or maybe that's it's that's Geordie. fucking Geordie Shaw or yeah. Wales or some shit. <laughs> it's so hard. They're all just different. All right. What's this one? Um, German nine. No, it's fucking Indian. Yeah, but that's probably is that racist? Should we cut that one? We'll let we'll let you decide at home if that's racist. <laughs> nah, I reckon cut that kind of. Nah. Uh, Connor, leave all of this in. Even Michael. <laughs> no, Sink. no. I want people to know that we considered cutting it if this goes out to the Daily Mail. All right, leave it in. No, <laughs> no. We're redoing India. Uh, why are we doing it? Everyone thinks it's racist if it's Indian. Well, what is it? What do you mean? If an Indian yeah, tried okay. to do an Australian accent, is that racist? No, yeah. they're just fucking having right, a go at our Cut accent. me freaking out and then we'll go to the next one. No, I think the freak out is good. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. Mm. It's my choice. Matt, I say no. Matt, Can I cut me freaking out? Matt and, I've, Matt and yeah. I have outvoted you, Michael. No. It's two votes to one. No. Can I keep it in? I'll be very upset if this is out. Leave. No. No. He's, he, no. It's going in. No, it's, it's not. In. Yes. It's not. Can I? It's no. And Let this, me say what I want to say. this discussion is all staying in. This entire thing. Is staying. No, it's I'll not. I'll be so no. upset if this is all out. No, no. So Connor, upset. Honestly, he's just I'm trying being 100% with me. obvious. Connor, Matt even said, leave it in. It's Connor, fine. we've spoken about this. I'm attempting at doing we've an accent. We've spoken about this and you know, and I love you for it. So all right, yeah, next you know. accent. Go. All leave right. it in. Russian. Almost. <laughs> French. Iceland. Antarctican. Oh. Is that even a race? Yeah. That's pretty racist, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, you go one more. Okay. Um. <sighs> oh, people with coronavirus. No. Nah. What? I'll do it one one more time. <clears throat> Like a chair? Like a piece of furniture? One more time. <clears throat> Stephen Hawking's If He Could Talk. Come on. It's Italian. Oh, yeah. I did hear pizza. I did hear a bit of pizza there. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah moving on. <laughs> Okay. Can I leave it in? Uh, underscore Muna Zero. How tall are you guys? Uh, like 190 some. centimeters or some shit. Like 6'2", six 6'3". Two, six six two. Yeah. Some shit like that. How what? tall are you? 190. Marcus May. When is Matthew Brown from Wholesome, Matthew Gregory Brown from Wholesome, going to step his game up? Yeah, he has moved seats. He went from there to there. And his testicles are... He, he yeah, he flashed this. Oh, I need I need everyone to be more specific. Everyone, if you want to address a question to Matthew Brown, be a bit more fucking specific. God. Marcus. In fact, message him. Everyone, message him on no, Instagram. No. Marcus May. Send him a picture of your dicks on Instagram. <laughs> Matt Brown, four ones. Matt at Matt Brown, and then four ones after it because he's the fourth Matt Brown to get Instagram. There are three uh, three before him. And then he's the fourth one. So, Matt Brown, four ones in a row. Send him a picture of your dick. 
<laughs> and we'll show them next week on the podcast. All right, I so wish we could bulk we dicks. Could do it in the website. Bulk dicks. All right. Well, yeah, we can do that. We can show dicks from afar. Yeah. Can we? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Next question is Nick Walters two. Do you all give PhDs out for your university? No, <laughs> not yet. Like, it's going to take something pretty profound to for us to first of all even notice that you exist and then second of all honor you with a phd which we do have the power to give out no we honor the people who are in the university they've got their private yeah, but they don't, yeah they don't get phds though the phds are reserved for you know geniuses like us or steven or steve hawking yeah Thanks. stephen hawking um so uh, yeah the, the possibility is there but like you're gonna have to <laughs> you have to work hard you know what I mean? <laughs> you have to work hard. Illusionist Darius. What are three fucked up things you regret doing? <coughs> Smoking for me is one. I've said it before. The time we fucking got in that brawl in Down Under Bar because Hendog was fucking getting nailed and I ran in and tried to take him off him. Next minute I woke up dazed as hell and then I couldn't eat for two months. Apart from McDonald's chips, because I had no, a lot of No, that's a good story, and we but survived. Yeah, I, I, okay, I guess it come. So there, we've survived really regret everything. It. There have been regretful moments, but then after when we've survived, it's fine. Mm. Maybe hit, hit and run we did a while ago. That was pretty regretful. Like if you look back at you know those moments where in the shower and you just think of your backlog of memories and you go fuck, I wish I didn't do that. Ah, like you're twitching shit. Ah, damn. Like if you look back at the and we said it last week, I think that night. After a few sleeping wines. tablets and wines, and I think we had a bottle of whiskey, and then we wanted some money. So, we kidnapped that dude. But again, I don't regret it now. Yeah, I guess it I all worked it out. For, for a long time after. Yeah, there was two weeks of misery. Like, I was like, oh, <sighs> why did I do that? We were, like, we were like, oh, like that for a while. <laughs> oh, oh. He was. Oh, God. But, yeah. Yeah. No regret now. Yeah, and maybe... Oh, oh maybe something maybe something like that. Yeah. But not probably. I killed a uh, kookaburra once by throwing a brick. Dude, when I... Okay. Regret that. When I was a kid, I, I was probably like year two, so what? I didn't eight. mean to kill it. It just sort of struck it sweetly. I'd thrown so many sticks at it, and it just didn't know where the sticks were coming from. And then I was got a last one and just... Shh, just fucking... I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this. Yeah, well, you were a kid. Everyone's thrown a rock at a bird as a And kid. it didn't die. It just, it just hit it and then it sort of tumbled down the tree and it was making this weird noise and I left. And then when you came back, it was gone. So, well, it was fine. I didn't come back. It, so, I, I'm, fingers crossed fine. it survived. Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's probably fine. Sorry. Um, yeah, well, when I was a kid too, also, I was with my cousin and we, found a, we saw a bird's nest and we heard chirping going on. So, and we're like year two, eight years old. So... I was like, dude, climb up there and flip the nest. And he did. And he flipped the nest and all the fucking eggs broke and they were half-developed birds. Mm. And we felt so guilty inside, dude. So, then we we're like, how can we help them but not get the blame? So, we went around to the neighbors and said, hey, can you help us out? We just saw some teenagers flip the bird nest over and we're here to save the day. And then the park rangers came, picked up the birds and apparently one survived. So, we did good after bad. So, I don't regret it. I wish I was dead. <laughs> Did Marty play baseball growing up because he's got an arm? No, we just played tennis and serving uh, in tennis gives you a very good arm. So, we thank tennis for our great aim and good arms. <laughs> mm, so, yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> no, it's great to see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bradley, two more questions. Bradley underscore Wayne 48. What, what is... What, what is, is you obscure, obscure reasoning, reasoning of fuck why? I guess he's trying to say what. What, or what, what is or tell, 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 reasoning? Fucking cows, right? But pussy. Pretty. Please, Please broadcast. So about six months ago, was it? No, nah, was it like more than six? It was over a year ago. You started it was, fucking it was, cows. I didn't understand the question, so oh, I just sort of sorry, attempted to answer it. What, what is, is your obscure, obscure reasoning, reasoning for, for fucking cows? A, a right, broadcast. In the pussy? Yeah, yeah. So about six months ago. Next question. Ra underscore, <laughs> d- 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 Ra underscore Dunaway. 
Besides saying I'm totally obsessed with you guys, I have a question for the podcast. Would you rather be quarantined with Hitler, Stephen Hawking's, I love how she had the ass, or Judge Judy? Judge Judy, just so I could get it done. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, she's scary, but like physically, obviously, she can't touch me. And I would, yeah, she would, I would get, I'd get a good compilation video of me just throwing my shit right at her back. <laughs> like, if she ever slept on her belly, I'd spray shit all over her back. <laughs> you could die a wee squirt. Yeah, all over her back. And oh. over and over again. Unless she started getting like really upset, then I'd probably feel bad. No, nah, she wouldn't. Yeah, I think I feel like she'd just be angry, and that that That's doesn't fine. that doesn't trigger my like, sympathy. If she was crying, I would feel bad. But please stop shitting on my back. Like, yeah, that would, that would make that, me feel upset. That would hit the nerves of guilt. But if she was just angry, I'd just it, continue it make to you angry. I'd just continue to just pepper her with human shit. I'd go to the cow for what quarantine? Yeah, the cows. I love cows. Yeah, Not like cow- sexually like you, but I like. One day I'll own mini cows and I'll just sleep in bed with them. Not sexually, I'll just hold them. Yeah, they're so beautiful. That'll definitely turn sexual. They're so cute, dude. They'll definitely turn sexual. It's like a big dog. I love their eyes. The eyes are like the size of this. This, if you can look on our podcast, which is like you can hold a five it in centimeter ball. Mm. Oh, and their heads are big dog heads, and they just oh, dude, they're perfect. This shit's a bit weird. I don't know, like that. I wouldn't want that near my head when I was sleeping. You get the freshest I just want, milk. I just want their. Yeah, I don't like milk. I just want to have my head resting on its neck, and then every night we just go to fucking sleep. Fuck the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess if you're in quarantine, you Vita- probably would. Vitaly's got arrested for. Uh, this is all allegedly. I just I just saw an article from TMZ today for um, assaulting a woman. But that's interesting. Vitaly's been arrested. He's going off the rails by the sounds of it. Yeah, he was arrested on Sunday for vi- violently assaulting an unsuspecting jogger in Miami Beach. But what's when they say violently assaulting, like they fucking just... Well, she had she needed stitches in her eye and she's um, complaining of bruising on her chest. I know you're lying. No, no, he, what, God, is it I read because- the article. What? I read the article. He allegedly jumped out of his car and tackled the woman on the ground. He then straddled the woman and allegedly punched her in the chest and face while she screamed for help. <laughs> I can't That's imagine f- that. I can't imagine that. He had fucking 30 grams of mushrooms a couple of days ago. 30 grams of mushrooms put on his story. And then he was Look, like- they were, He said his, they were shiitake. And then he was out on his fucking jet ski a couple of hours later. just fucked out of his mind. So, I don't oh, know. So, he went mushroom psychosis. Possibly. Holy shit. Very interesting. Anyway, we haven't had a look at the P.O. Box until today. It's here. Our P.O. See. Box right here. For those who can't see, it's P.O. Box 256 Tagum, 4018, Queensland, uh, Australia. Uh. Send us whatever you want. We'll open it live here on the podcast. People have sent us human shit and drugs. Yeah. I did have a good time the other night. Anyway, that. so um, we uh, hadn't been sent anything for a while, so we've just pretended that someone sent this in. What's this segment? N- new segment. Is, well, not new segment. The segment is um, it's called the PO Unboxing. Got a normal name there. Bit disappointing, mate. Hey? You run out of time, did you? Wow. Can I open this one? Um, you know what? I think I'll open it. it looks, okay. looks like it could maybe be dangerous. Uh, all right, I'm not allowed around here. dangerous shit. Oh, it's hairspray. Fuck yeah. Thank you, whoever sent. Ha 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 You can't breathe now! <laughs> And that's how you use hairspray. So, thank you for sending that in. And, of course, uh, no one actually sent this in. We just pretended that someone sent it in uh, so I could spray my 
So thank you. And that podcast, yeah, that segment yeah. is really a taking quite a nosedive there. So um, try and send some stuff to us. <laughs> All right, which brings us to our next segment, we're, which has been renamed. We're collapsing. <laughs> we're collapsing. He's slipping down the hill. We're slipping. There's a water pressure. We're There's a water pressure. Quarantine fucked it. And this is a segment where uh, Michael just does a stunt. Well, we do a stunt. We do a stunt together, both of us, equally the same amount of effort put in by both of us into this stunt. Give and me Michael, a cup, Matt. what do we have this week for stunt time? So this is stunt time mixed with science time in a way because I don't really know the because oh part. well let me explain is there cups <laughs> <laughs> oh. alright to begin the stunt slash science experiment Mike will now use his thumb to flick his phallus out of his underwear so and stick it in the cup people mm. say oh man don't drink wee I've done this before, but the, the objective it. of this stunt is to finish the whole glass. Because normally it's just a sip. Yeah. And normally you fuck it up. Don't! Don't! No, I want to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to cram in my gooch. <laughs> <laughs> He's begging me to stop him from shaking his arm. Because that's the stunt so and it's stunt. So it's that stunt we can time. drink the piss. It's stunt He's time. urinating in a cup. How's oh, it going? Dude. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. slowly. Man, coming your out. stream is really struggling, man. You definitely got some sort of uh, prostate problem. There's no scientific evidence to support claims that drinking <laughs> urine is beneficial. <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary, yeah. research suggests that drinking urine can introduce bacteria, <laughs> toxins, <laughs> and other. <laughs> <laughs> and no, other, that's clean piss. And other harmful there is substances a in your bloodstream. and a half in there. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, I've got. I just thought of a really. There is. What's that? It's your. It's you. That's you. I don't want me. I don't oh, want chunks of me. Fingering your piss. So oh, I'll, dude, I just thought of a funny thing. Yeah. Oh, of like, how about like for just for this week, you drink it all because like it's your piss and it's crazy. Like if you're the one that drinks it all. Oh, so we won't split the stunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, yeah, not this week. I think this week, I reckon it would be so funny if you just drank all of your own piss. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm on board. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Anyway. There was a bit at the end there that I really wanted Michael to hear. It says bacteria, toxins, and other harmful substances into your bloodstream. It can introduce them into your bloodstream. Mm. Um, it can even place undue stress on your kidneys. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking all excited for Matt to read facts about it. And it's, well, it's, it's, you know our friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I know our friend. Oh, wow. There's chunks. You're right. There are some positives if you want to hear them. Too. Fuck. All right. Well, let's, yeah, yeah. Let's hear the want, positives. Yeah. All right. Before you drink it, here are some positives. Urine is a powerful di- diuretic, uh, which means that it can cause the body to expel more salt and water. Um Moreover, no research has found that drinking urine can lower blood pressure or otherwise improve heart health. I'm sorry. I thought that was positive, but it didn't come out positive. Oh, I must have been mistaken then. Anyway, here we go. Michael is about to drink his own piss. Here we go, Michael. It's stunt time. It's, it's dehydrated piss. It's pungent been four days on alcohol and looks like there's this like is what happens it looks like the last thing you did was have a wank and then the first bit of piss that came out took the last oh. bit of the sperm with it because there's some shit fucking around yeah there is like it it looks like a tadpole it could just be an, a dirty cup anyway down uh, the hatch eh it's gonna be hard normally i'll commentate as you do like this. one sip but you're this gonna is going to really, be so hard to down that whole thing. You're going to have to really just open the throat and pour it down. Can you say something inspirational? Yeah. Before I do it, like warm me up. <sighs> There's hairspray. I smell hairspray. That's so weird. Okay, here you go. Um, a lot of people always thought that Michael guy, he'll never amount to anything. And now you show them who you are. You skull that piss. <laughs> oh, 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 he's really doing it. It's just fucking, that is gone. Oh, oh, 
there's a bit left. A good oh. minute. Yeah. Ah. It's so sour. Oh. oh, it's hard to, it's hard to be talk now. It's hard to be uh. talking. Oh. I'll clap. For- oh, it's like off piss. Like imagine sour, sour gummy bears that have been liquefied, but then sat out in the sun for like three days and someone's pissed in that. <laughs> That's what that tastes like. So all you people who thought Michael would fucking never get anywhere in life, suck shit. Because <laughs> look what he's just done. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Go me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, time for our final segment, which has been renamed to Shit's the Shit's the door it's, it's the people and neighbors with you in it You stick it out it And this is of course where we just do a prank Fuck. call uh, And you guys send in a little message and a number And a little backstory uh, with, something say, with something that we can prank call them with hmm? hmm. Alright, so this person oh. has sent in Hey guys, I've got a good prank call for my mate Jackson. We have started a page on TikTok called Just Jimmy, gained 6k followers and the main fan base are gay men and he gets extremely angry when they comment and message him explicit things. So I was thinking if you call him acting like one of those gay fans, yeah. And then drag it on from there. But his reaction could be priceless. Cheers guys. All right, fuck, this is good. Yeah, this could be a really good one. Hey, uh, my name's Brian. Is this um, is this Jackson at all? Oh uh, yeah, this is Jackson. Oh my god, are you are you um, are you from um the TikTok account Just Jimmy? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. This is so cool. Oh my god, can I just say? Can I just say? I'll I'll tell you in a second. But can I just say, I absolutely love your videos. Me and all my friends like. <laughs> Like we just can't get enough of them. <laughs> it's it's so cool. <laughs> what, what what videos are you guys playing? I can't, I'm like shaking. I can't believe I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh. um, yeah. Well, long story short, but uh, it's uh, this gay guy um, basically just uh, knows a friend of yours, and um, he got it, and he's been passing it around. <laughs> he's just been giving your number out. Yeah, he's just been giving your number out. I was like, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> I said that to him, but he was like, he's just like, because he just went, he just went to all our gay friends and just sent your number and your TikTok account. <laughs> and and all the boys are just like, can't believe it, hey. And like, they're going to be so shocked when I tell them that I was talking to you. <laughs> so do you like, do you like have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or anything or? Which one do you have? Uh, girl, girl, mate. Girl. Ah, oh, right. God. So, how straight are you? Nah, sorry, mate. I'm not, I'm not, into, not into gay men, mate. What, what do you mean? I'm not, I'm not like... I'm not into... I'm not into... I'm not into oh, we don't, we don't have to have sex or anything, but would you be keen to just <coughs> maybe have a have a drink or something? There's a lot of... Oh, a, lot of your, a lot of your fans would really I'll appreciate pay, it. I'll pay. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Melbourne. Where are you from? Yeah, so not too far away then. <laughs> That's no, great. It's pretty far away. <laughs> oh, look, I always go down to Sydney for work anyway. So if, if you're ever around, <laughs> we could, like, I'm happy to. It's my shout, of course. <laughs> we could just oh, go to a bar and just get a drink or something and, and like, just have some food or something. Just as friends and stuff. Oh, no. Oh, come on. That. Come on, Jackson. I know you want to. I can hear it in your voice. I know you want to. <laughs> God, you sound hot. <clears throat> so what are you doing? Uh, what, what, when is when he's posting your next video? Huh? When are you guys posting your next video? I'm like glued to the screen waiting for you guys to post it. Hey, like I literally I'm cannot wait. Never, mate. What you're not posting anymore? Jackson, I'll Jackson, I'll send you money. All right? Can you follow me on Instagram, please? <laughs> what's, your, what's your account? My account's Marty and Michael. Marty and Michael. Yeah, just can, do you mind just following oh, us? Like, and Marty and Michael, buddy. What? Don't tell me you've heard of it. Yeah. What do you Marty think? Marty and Michael. Charmy in that as well. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, they're mates of ours. They're mates of yours. Yeah. I know who you are, Marty and Michael. <laughs> 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 
Oh, we tipped the dick over. <sighs> we did. Yeah, sorry, dude. We just no, nah, no. Nah, yeah, it is. Um, your mate um said that you've had some um some uh, some of the gay communities getting pretty excited about your uh, TikTok account. Yeah, so he's just sent your number in and told us to stitch you up, Lulu. <laughs> hey. oh, oh, I want to hit Marty. Was I convincing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I would be convincing at that. <laughs> what sort of videos do you guys post that you're fucking getting um, noticed so much? Nah, you just fuck. It's just my brother video of me making me bloody sound like a dog or but he, he, I don't know, he just gets me at the worst time he's posting it. <laughs> gets me the worst time. Kind of, Sounds like me. It's not that deep, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, I was, I was, I'm like shaking. I was like, no, this is not <laughs> Oh, fuck, that's good shit. That's good shit. All right, dude. Well, sorry for fucking with you. I just wanted to um, see if I could try and um, have sex with you. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> Yet. Not that there's anything wrong with that, everyone. Of course no, not. No, no, Fucking no, no. free love. Oh, shit. What? Is this being recorded? Yeah, yeah. This is this is this oh, is on our no. podcast. This will be out next um, Monday. If that's cool with you. Oh right. Yeah. My mate says he always listens. Yeah. My mate always bloody shows me your um your prank calls. Actually, I should have should have known. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I went along with it a bit longer. I just I couldn't help myself but give ourselves a cheeky little another follow up. Oh yeah, we wanted more. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, legend. Good on you, mate. All right, buddy. Well, we'll let you go, but um, keep getting those funny TikToks out, all right? Oh, yeah. No. No. All right, buddy. Uh, See you, mate. No worries. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, next week, uh, we're going to get, like, fucking hammered for the podcast. We'll really? Have a, we'll have a shot every five minutes. Matt's going to tell us every five minutes we have to do a shot. Okay. Um, so, People have been asking that yeah. we both just get yeah. written off. So we're going to get fucking sloshed next week for our podcast. So don't miss out on that one. And also... Wait. There's other news. Where? The best. Where the best.